Hello guys, welcome to our new channel Center for Engineer. Today, we are going to discuss about the topic in the structural analysis, degree of indeterminacy or redundancy. Let's go for the topic. Okay, now what is redundancy? Degree of redundancy or indeterminacy is defined as additional equation required to determine the unknown. The formula to find out is the degree of redundancy is number of unknowns minus number of independent static equilibrium equation. In the number of independent static equilibrium equation is 3 for the most cases like beams, trusses and frames. In the method of determining degree of indeterminacy for following structures. First one is beams. Second one is regularly jointed frames and third one is pin jointed frames. Now we can discuss the degree of indeterminacy in beams. Before that, we have to know something about beams. In beams, in beams, there are mainly three supports. First one is fixed support. Then degree of reactions in fixed support is three. There is a horizontal reaction, there is a vertical reaction, and there is a moment is also there. A moment is also there. Second, it is a hinged support. There are two number of reactions in the hinged support, and last one is roller support. There are only one reaction in the roller support. In the equation to find out is the degree of indeterminacy or redundancy is equal to R minus 3, where R is the number of reactions in each support. Let us discuss some examples in the beam section. First example, it is a beam with one side is fixed and other side is hinged. To find out redundancy is equal to R minus 3. The total number of reaction in the both support is 3 plus 2, 5 because 3 for the hinged support, sorry, 3 for the fixed support and 2 for the hinged support. Now we'll discuss the second question. It is a beam with both sides are fixed. Redundancy is equal to R minus 3. 3 for this support and 3 for this support. Let us discuss the third question. Redundancy is equal to R minus 3. Here it is a beam with both sides are fixed and a roller support in the center of the beam. For 3 for the fixed support here and 3 for the fixed support here and 1 for the roll of support as we discussed in the previous section. So the redundancy is 4 for this member. Now discuss the fourth example. It is a beam with both sides are hinged and center position there is a roll of support. The redundancy of this is R minus 3. It is equal to 2 for this hinged support, 2 for this hinged support, and 1 for the roller support, minus 3. That is, from, that is from the equation. So, the redundancy of this member is equal to 2. Now, we can discuss about the rigidly jointed frame, our second topic. Here, we are discussing about plane frames. Namely, rigidly jointed frames are two categories. First one is plane frames, and second one is multi-storied frames. We are not discussing about the multi-storied frame in this section. We are only discussing the plane frames. Regularly jointed frames are which have a hinged or a fixed support. Let us examine this frame. This frame has one side is fixed, one side is a hinged support and one side it is a roller support. We can also discuss in the second frame. It has a fixed support and a roller support. The criteria in which it at least have a hinged or fixed support. So it is namely rigidly jointed frame. The degree of redundancy is also in the case of beam R minus 3. Hey friends, I hope that everyone will understand the topic. Please add your valuable comments and strike that bell button. Also like, share and subscribe this channel.